A local group of Paleon shortages have notified us that a small group of steves have been migrating around this area. They appear to be a small gaggle of steves that have fallen behind the main herd and are trying their best to keep up in an area where resources are low. As they journey across the landscape trying to find the fabled spawn lands, we see there are many varieties of steves here. Many of them are the commonly seen iron stick wielding steves and the golden chested steves. These thieves we actually see quite often, but it's quite odd that they have fallen so far behind. We must learn why it is that there is such a delay in their migration. Let us follow this golden chested Steve up a tree and see if his by his habits we can learn why it is that these creatures are so procrastinationist. As we journey up the tree, we see that the altitude here actually gets very light and that Steve's have been known to sh have very small lungs. As a result, Steve's have a strong tendency of passing out once in a while because of the high altitude. We must be careful that if the Steve falls down here, we must catch it. As we journey up the landscape, we see that a Steve here wields a bow, a very good thing to have in these parts. Bows have been known to be excellent strategies of communication between Steve's since their arms do not reach long enough Ah, see, another rare form of communication known as the hand slap. It is a very windy day here in Minecraft as we observe another large flock of steves handling themselves well about during their biannual migration towards the spawn area and of course, the ever non-ending quest of self-discovery. Let us observe that there are many types of steves here. It appears that there mostly appear to be iron stick steves and golden chested steves, sporting many kinds of resources they've taken along in the areas as they journey about. Tensions are high here as the steves appear to be on edge, for alas, the winter months here have ended, and the new sun has shown its face. The mists gather, and the steves' allergies begin to ensue. As they begin to cough, wheeze, and sneeze, they really don't know what to do with themselves, as they appear to be ever so more unattractive towards one another. This is not a very good time of year to breed as a steve, because no one likes to mate with mucus. As we follow these steves around the area, we see this is a hot pursuit, as the iron stick steve has a very high interest in the golden plated steve. He wants nothing more else than to spend time with it. Alas, it appears that he has had his way with it, and now enjoys himself ever so more. As we see here, the golden chested steve sporting the iron stick, it is now very full of himself, because he has eaten many types of fruit. As we see him come about in the area, I think, uh, no, it appears that he was quite fleety, and we have lost him. It was a shame. As we see that majestic creature down there, we let him about his way as we continue the journey here on the Steve Discovery Network, bringing you the latest news on Steve's migratory patterns and, of course, behavioral instincts as we learn more and more about this majestic creature. As we walk here in the great craggly craggly crag crevice chasm of Minecraft, we enjoy the great scenery of the area. Steves have been known to take off summer holidays here quite often, because they enjoy being high up higher than others, because they just love to look down on the top of other Steves' head. Aha, alas, one of our newest reports that the Steve has come in, that in fact steves have a very rare balding condition that causes when they cannot see hair. And when they cannot see hair, they begin to lose their own. And again, mucus, sweat, and having no hair are not the prime ingredients to have a healthy relationship with the person you just met. As we journey about looking for any of these rare balding steves, we see that the area of resources that we had first encountered the steves in is actually quite sparse. And this is a very odd behavioral pattern of the steves, where they love to stick around in the spawn area, because the steves are a very shy and lonesome creature, and these are sort of the unspoken taboo place of meeting other people who want to be not by themselves anymore. But alas, it appears that there are no steves here. Ah, we see two majestic golden-footed steves having about their way with one another. It appears that the mating ritual has commenced, and the steve has had its way with the other. Nature can be so beautiful. Ah, but it appears that the poor steve is now very hungry and tarnished from his act of commitment with the other steve. 
And as we see, he is very fatigued here. Uh, this poor Steve, very confused and very auto-headed of itself. Ah, we see another majestic aquatic Steve. It is a cow sort of Steve in this area. Oh, it, it seems that the Steve is drowning. Quick, get out of the water. Get out of the water. Okay, that's much better. We now see that the Steve is actually quite confused. For in fact, water tends to boggle out the Steve's mind slightly a bit. They're not known to be the most hydrated of Steve. 